What's up with you too, fam? I'm back again with another video. Look, man, I know a lot of y'all already know about this situation with Brittany Griner being released. Well, she's basically getting exchanged for another inmate, but I'm pretty sure she will be getting released once she gets in America. And I know a lot of y'all don't know about it, so that's why I'm here. You know, these type of topics don't get a lot of notoriety. You know, they don't get spreaded out across the media and things like that by black people. So, you know, that's why I'm here. Some of the cases that don't get a lot of light, I try to bring some type of light to it. It might not go far because, you know, YouTube don't push it different you know it's just hard to get this type of stuff out from different outlets you feel me you know so yeah a little bit counts you know so basically long story short you know it's crazy how the bad news spread it, but this good news ain't spreading you know and i feel like that they really just didn't even give a damn about having her over there they were just trying to basically make a statement prove a point trying to show their little power that they got when americans come over there and shit like that but really overall they don't give a damn you know what I'm saying? They do this as like a manipulation tactic to make sure people come over there and act right. You know, that's how I feel about it. They seen the interest that America had in her. So, yeah, they took it upon themselves to make sure that they made this situation way worse than what it really was, you know. But I got a little brief summary, brief statement from her wife real quick. She was just stating how she felt and things like that. We're going to run into this real quick. Let's go ahead and check it out. The last nine months, y'all have been... Um so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life and so today i'm just standing here um overwhelmed with emotions but the most important emotion that i have right now is just sincere gratitude um for president biden and his entire administration um he just mentioned this work is not easy and it has not been there's been so many hands involved and so i'd like to take a moment to just specifically mention a few uh vice president harris secretary blinken jake sullivan Just Geltzer from the National Security Council, Roger Cartson and Fletcher Schoen from the Hostage Envoys Office. Um, a special thank you to Governor Richardson and Mickey, um, the Mercury Players, the WNB PA for your advocacy. And also, um, you guys may not know this, but um, my family has been tremendously supported by the Washington um, agency, BG's agent, um, Lindsay Colas. It's just been amazing for me and my family throughout this process. So um, today my family is whole, but as you all are aware, there's so many other families who are not whole. And so BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today it's just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm gonna smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you. Congratulations to her and her family, you know, but I do want to say that I want to say thank you to the media, the black media, the people who really care. You know, I see that a lot of these situations that take place, the media don't get you know a lot of recognition like y'all not realizing that social media played the major part in this whole situation if people didn't have an outrage or an outpour about this it wouldn't be this much shit behind it you feel me like i said before that i feel like that it was a um an overwhelming amount of support coming from social media and things like that this what made them feel like damn okay they really want her so they're gonna try to do anything to make sure that they can make an example out of her now i'm not trying to sit here and disregard anything that she said you know other people did play major key factors into her getting released but i just feel like that social media the people that's all over the internet and things like that need to be notarized a little bit more not bloggers or nothing like that even though they are a major contributing factor as well the people did this, you feel me? So yeah, congratulations to the people for for the win. I ain't trying to take nothing away from her happiness or anything like that, but like people like you that's watching this video, yeah, y'all contributed to this. Y'all comments and stuff like that contributed to it and things like that. So I just want to say that on the behalf of people, you know, I feel like that some of this shit, man, just crazy how to try to do American citizens when you're out of town and stuff like that. You feel me? Just crazy as hell. We're out of the country. But I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section, man. It was just a brief update. I know that they ain't going to push this video for. People ain't really going to see it like that because of how YouTube works and things like that. But for those who did run across it, man, congratulations to y'all. Because I'm pretty sure y'all was in the comment sessions and places and doing certain things as well, contributing to this. So, yeah, man. That's all I got to say about the whole situation. Shout out to her, her wife, her family, everybody that's associated with them, and everybody who helped get her out. But that's all I got to say about the whole situation i'm gonna holler y'all later on another video and like i said before i'm telling y'all this now so y'all know if y'all really rock with me on certain news clips and things like that i'm starting to put things on my second channel starting monday so yeah 
majority of the time, I'm going to be putting like little updates and little news clips and shit like that over there. But that channel ain't going to be for that. I'm going to switch it up and do something else with it. So, yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned. But as of now, I'm going to be doing certain things over there. So, y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout. Certain videos that don't make it over here going to make it over there as well, too. So, yeah. But I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. I'll holler at y'all later on another video. I right, appreciate y'all.